Hi, I'm Hadla in the Square product team, and today I'm going to walk you through combos. Combos allows you to sell a group of items at a discounted price to help speed up service and increase average order value. To start, you navigate to your item library, then click Create Item. From this point, you can change from your default item type and select Combo. At this point, many of the fields you see will look similar to your regular items. You can create a combo and name it. Then you can add a price. You can add a description, an image. The part that will be new is the ability to actually build out the combo. So combos are made up of choices. Each choice can have one to many different options. Let's start with one choice for our mains. You can build it with a category or items. In this case, I'll select a category. Then I can see all the items in this category. If one item is more expensive than the others, I have the ability to add an upcharge to that. Let's add $1. After this, this is what will show up on your sales channel. So if it's online or the point of sale, I can keep the category name. I can require more than one selection if we'd like. And if we want, I can add a default. In this case, I think this all looks good. So I'll click add. Next, I'm going to add my side Choice. I'm going to do a category again, but let's just do the salad category. I'm going to add an upcharge to our steak salad. And in this case, I'm going to keep salad. I'll keep one selection, but I know that almost everyone gets the Cobb salad. So let's make that the default. And then finally, let's add our drink. In this case, I'm going to look by items and I'll scroll down until I see the soda item. You can see there are different variations of this item. As part of the combo, I'm going to just add the medium soda. So I'll click next, no upcharges, and then I will add that. I'm going to actually change the name of this here. It's just going to be called soda. Finally, I can adjust channels where this is available. I can adjust locations. I want to make sure it gets added to a menu and if I want it reported on any specific categories, I can do that as well. I'll save it and then go ahead and show you how you can sell this on the point of sale. Now that I'm looking at my point of sale, I can see the lunch combo is available. I'll go ahead and tap it and combos are gonna work like most other items. The first thing I'll see though in this case is the prompt to select my first choice. I can see if there's upcharges available. In this case, let's say a customer selects the lasagna. I'll see that's added to the combo summary screen. Then I can see the selections for all other choices. Cobb salad is defaulted here because I set that as the default in dashboard. But if the customer wants to sub it, it's easy. Just tap sub and switch it out for the salad that they'd like to order. I can see my drink is listed here as well and I can add other notes and if the items have modifiers, I can add those as well. I'll add this to the check, then I can send it or pay just like normal. Like your point of sale, your combo will show up on your online ordering site as well. You can see the lunch combo shows here on the main page, so I can click it, and then I'll see those same options configured like they were in dashboard. I can make a selection for main, then if I want to change the salad here, I can, and I can see there's a soda included in the combo as well. If any of these have uh, modifiers or any other details that you want to change, you can just click into this arrow on the right and make those modifications. Once it looks good to go, I'll just click Add Order. At this point, I can go and look in my cart and I can see the combos that I have available. And I can go and check out. My combo items will be routed based on the category routing configuration of the items within the combo. In this case, I'm looking at an expo station, so I can see all items available in that combo. As I prepare things, I can mark individual items within the combo as complete. And once every item has been marked as complete, the entire chit will fall off the page. I can also mark entire combos as complete, and those will be there as well. Thank you.